Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and this is an avocado tree that's been growing in this bin for I don't know how long. I just let it go. It's doing its thing. Right there. I'm just leaving them there. Just a uh, yield worm bin, and it's a pet avocado tree. I'm going to see how long it goes. So let me see what exactly I have got going on in here. I am not going to mess up the area over here by the tree. I don't want to mess up its roots. So the bag is doing fine. I'm not sure if that's so much 100% castings as that is a large concentration of coffee. At work in the wintertime, people go through a lot of coffee and so the worms get a higher percentage of coffee in the winter time. So what in the fork is that? Uh, that is a springtail swarm. I have never seen that. Never. All the jumping? That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, I, I'll try and zoom in, but jumping, lots of jumping happening right there. And there's some pot worms. So that's what they, you know, weird. common wisdom. Just crazy, crazy. Ugh. Yeah, well, they're getting uh, apples today. They're not getting any coffee, so hopefully that that's a little too much. I'm going to be creeped out. I'm going to have to go take a shower after this. Okay, so we're just going to mix everything up. I don't see any food except for the coffee grounds and the darn springtails. Ugh. Oh, I'm a liar. What is this? Potato, maybe? Put that in there. All right. So I'm going to feed over here, kind of on the end to the middle. Kind of make myself a little pocket. Yeah, you know, that really kind of is, I don't know if it's dark like that because of the coffee grounds. The castings are really dark. Yeah. We are going to feed them up. would love to say that is the end of the apples but I have got 20 gallons in the freezer so they're gonna be apple they're gonna be eating apples for a while so they better they better like it because that's totally what they're getting get some grit in there mix it up a little cover it back up put the green bag back in Maybe put some of the castings over the top. I'm going to water the avocado. So I don't normally water the worms, but the avocado is probably going to need more. And I'm going to grab him a little friend here. That was the one that was growing in the other bin in the dark underneath. And then this one, I don't know if it's going to make it or not, but it will or it won't and uh, my worms are good at taking care of those things so we're gonna give them a chance to do it and if not they'll eat it win-win all right well let's go look at another bin hey guys now we're looking at the uh, Titan series these are the grow up bins kind of see what's going on in here More of the eat my shirt thread. This looks like uh, they've pretty much finished eating everything in here. Looks like it could be harvested. So 
so not sure how long it's been with the the Titan project, but it's been a year, so that's definitely been long enough to determine that this particular method of trying to explore worm's ability to grow bigger due to having larger parents I think might be a bust. But I'm just going to keep using them as grow out bins at this point. Um, let me know what you think. I'm going to say that this is a, come on dude, this is a mature worm. It's got a clitellum there. It'll hold still and let me show you. And not really seeing any Titan examples in the grow up bin here and they've had more than enough time to to grow. So we're gonna I'm gonna flip you around here and show you the next bin. Okay. what we've got in here. These are definitely bigger, but not mammoths. I'd have to try and figure out a way to design a very shallow, very large bin that I can do inside. Oh, electrical tape. No clue how that got in there. But the bin itself, other than not containing any super awesome Titan worms, looks pretty good. Moisture's pretty good. Seems to be kind of at a middle stage, eating up the bedding and the food. So, yep. Gonna definitely going to feed this one. I don't see anything recognizable except for some banana ends and mango seeds and stuff, so we're definitely going to give them some food. I think the one we just looked at, I'm going to leave. Okay, it's harvesting. I'm going to prune my aloe plant back. So it fits inside in the winter. It gets so big when it's outside that it takes over and there's no room. Okay, so we're going to give them more of the, the apple goo in the middle here. Get them a handful of bedding. And then I'm just going to cover them back up. Hop over to the next bin. This is another grow up bin. I swear we are making progress with those green bags, I swear. Just not super fast. This one's Holy crap, look at all the springtails. I really do think it's the coffee. It's got to be the coffee. I've got no other explanation for it. Yuck. Got some apples. Tuck that in over here. Do a better job of burying the coffee filters. Another oops. So they're working on another apple. Get that tucked in there pretty good. Alright, well they've got there's quite a few worms in here and just the the apples. It's weird, it even kind of still smells like apples. Um, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down some new bedding and I'm going to feed them some of the apple goo again. Spread that out and then cover it back up. All right, one more grow up bin. Okay, it's the last of the grow up bins. This had one of my plants sitting in it. So, watered the plant. The worm bed got pretty mucky. doesn't smell bad. It's just really wet. Probably not going to give them back their bubble wrap. Yeah, maybe I will. I don't know. This time of year, it pays to be proactive when it comes to the bin losing moisture. So there you go. They're kind of a spread out worm ball. They love their coffee. Got some well caffeinated worms here. And well caffeinated springtails. So, although I don't recommend just feeding them coffee, I mean, you've seen what percentage goes into them with the coffee. It's quite a bit, and they're okay. This is pretty advanced in here. They've done a good job of eating all of that garbage. Good worms. Just gonna make sure everything gets fluffed up. Don't want any anaerobic conditions settling in. heavy also. So right there in the middle. It's the last bin so by default they have to eat the rest of the apple. that out. Cover that up a little. And then that's the last of the feeding bins or the grow up bins. So give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and uh, hit the little bell notification if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.